go from being a sorcerer, apprentice sorcerer, to a fairy princess? What type of challenge was it? And what type of challenge did you have to face in this particular movie? Um, well, this is my first ever animated film, so um, I kind of had to learn my way uh, around that. Uh, it's very strange because you... I, for the most part, I was acting on my own. I was just in a, in a kind of a dark studio. So you have to be quite imaginative to kind of bring it all to life in your head to then put it into your voice, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, it was tough, but really interesting. I was absolutely fascinated to see how an animated film would be put together. Um, I, I love animated films, so it's Are great. you more of a mouse or a right person? I'm probably more of a mouse person. And why? Probably. Well, they're a little bit cuter. I mean, look at this guy. He's so cute. <laughs> what is your favorite fairy tale and, and why? My favorite fairy tale? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, actually, it's interesting. The, Despero is really inspired by a book that he finds uh, in the library. And uh, it seems to me that it's based on Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. And I absolutely loved, when I was younger, learning about that period of history, King Arthur and the Knights and Guinevere. And I loved, I loved all of that. So I can understand why Despero was very inspired by it. What do you think we should learn from this film? Are there some themes that are interesting in the movie, that, some lessons to learn from? Yeah, there are loads. It's, it's, um, it's packed full of like, kind of moral messages. It kind of feels a bit like an Aesop's fable to me. Um, it's, uh, they're also made very clear by Sigourney Weaver, who's the, the narrator who kind of runs through it. And um, I think it's about forgiveness and uh, hope. And also, Despero is a very unlikely hero, and it just goes to show that you know it doesn't matter how small you are, you can you can make a massive difference in the world. And um, no, it's great. You have to watch it. Talking about hero, what define a hero according to you, and who are your heroes today? Oh, that's a great question. Um, okay, what would be? I don't know. I I guess. You know, uh, as Despero says, you know, I, I look for a gentleman, someone who lives their life by, you know, some kind of moral code or compass that they have, you know, um, chivalry and honour and bravery and kindness. And, um, I, you know, I guess, you know, my heroes are the ones, um, you know, the ones who are just doing their best and have their, their heart in the right place, I guess. Um, who are my heroes today? Um, Barack Obama, I think. I think it's and very why? cool that. I just think it's. I think he's. Um, I think it's just so exciting that he's been elected as president, and uh, I have he's... every faith that he's going to be a good job. And I think he's. He's a great hero. Do, do you think for people of, of your age, it's, it's a sign that things can change in the world, and we can have a much more coercive environment? I think he is. I think he's a very big symbol of hope, not just to Americans, but to everyone in the world, definitely. So if you were in a position to save the day or <laughs> save somebody, what would you save or who would you save? Oh, my goodness. Um, I think mice and rats are very undervalued. I think uh, I would change people's prejudice towards towards them, having worked on Tale of Despero. I think it's, uh, it's changed my, my perspective. Thank <laughs> you.